Welcome to Five Pack Fun House. My name is Ben. My wife, Jen, is somewhere around here. We are standing in what I use as an office, what Jen used to use as an office, and we just recently completed Jen's room downstairs. So we took a very pink room and made it uh, her room with shades of blue. So we redid the floor, the, the walls down there. Uh, we are in this room and we have removed all furniture. It's just walls and carpet now. We're going to remove the carpet. We're gonna paint the walls, we're gonna rip the trim out, we're gonna paint the trim white. Uh, we're, we have a new floor in here. So we were originally just gonna paint the walls. And then we decided while we have everything moved, let's just remove everything and let's just get to it. So it's two o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. We are gonna try and see how far we can get before Sunday night. Uh, so come along for the ride. Hello again. So we have the carpet out, the trim out, the pad out, most of the staples out. Of course, we found some awesomeness by the door. There was like a ramp right here that, that brought it level to this piece. And then there's another piece on top and, and a tack strip and stuff. So we, we ripped all that out. I don't know if you can see how thick this floor is and how far it comes up. So Jen and I don't really have a plan for this yet. We're, we're, we're thinking through what we want to do. Um, but we wanted to get a fresh start, so we're going to nail down all those staples and whatnot. Jen is about to start painting the ceiling. Because <laughs> if you look... Hang on, let me get about technology. So if you look, you can see there's two different shades of white there, plus the edging up here was done just horribly. Um, so we're gonna try and see, we have, what, I'll show the whole edge, yeah. It, it, it's, it's not, it's not great painting. So we're gonna try and, and we have some color match paint, we're gonna try and see if that does it, otherwise we'll just paint the whole ceiling. That's where we are, uh, stay tuned. Hello, it is now 10, almost 10 o'clock, pretty close to 10 o'clock at night. And we are still painting. Jen's doing detailed trim work up there because uh, I'm not allowed to do trim work. Um, I, I do large areas and I do demolition. Jen does all the fancy stuff, so she gets all the credit. But we have walls painted. And you can't, well, you can kind of see the difference. Let me get out of the way. So there are two different colors on that. Uh, the, the chimney wall, or the fireplace wall has a darker green, and then the rest of the room is a lighter green. And the really cool part is that's gonna be our floor. With white trim. With white trim. <laughs> so that, it's gonna be really sharp when it's done. It doesn't look great now. <coughs> but it is going to be really sharp when it is done. So I, I think Jen and I put together a pretty good vision on, on what this room is going to look like when it's done. Um, but yeah, that's where we are so far. Uh, we're laying the floor tomorrow. So we'll, we'll, this video is going to go multiple days and then we'll post the whole thing. Good morning. Uh, it is a new day for me, although it's the same video for you guys. So, we have paint almost done. The only thing we don't have is like this trim work, I said like, uh, and this trim work around the window to do yet. Um, everything else is done. So I went through and spot checked the ceiling this morning and painted over some spots that got light last night. Uh, the walls and the trim are all done on that. Uh, the trim work are all done on that. Jen is outside painting the actual trim right now white. We're going to have uh, white trim in here. Uh, we got to go get door trim for around, around this door. So we're going to go get some white trim for that. And then we are ready to put the floor in. So I've already prepped the floor too. So part of what we have to do for the floor, we're putting a pressure fit floor in. So I went around and had a clean out all the edge, all the way around the room. 
So that was done this morning. I vacuumed up that. I vacuumed up the, the whole floor. Uh, and we're ready to put it in. So we just got to get started. Um, so I'm going to eat something quick. Jen's going to finish painting the trim. And then we're going to lay the floor in. And we'll update you as we go. It's day three. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, the day got away from me. We are 90% done with this room. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the camera, I'm gonna pan around. We have some stuff already back in the room. So we have walls painted. We have the floor done. We have trim painted. We have the ceiling painted. What's left? We have trim around the door to do. We're gonna paint the trim around the window to white to match the base trim in the, in the room. And I'm going to replace outlets and light switches with stuff that's white, just to bring the whites uh, out in the room more. So we are essentially done with everything else in this room. So guys, thanks much for, for watching. Um, floor wise, you know, the floor turned out awesome. Pressure fit floors are really difficult to put in. Uh, make sure you have the time and patience to do it. I did not. My wife is a saint for dealing with me. Um, we've done tongue and groove floors in the rest of the house, and this was the first pressure fit floor that I've ever put in. Um, it, it's, it's difficult. It takes a lot of patience. And prep the floor. Prep, 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 prep. That floor has to be completely even nothing on it no divots no little rises uh, the the where the plywood comes together has to be level there's a lot of effort in making sure that this floor was ready to put this floor to put the the actual floor tiles down uh, so make sure you take your time and prep um, but other than that it, it's it's come together really nice guys thanks for watching